Guys, uh, thanks for watching these videos to introduce our ODDR. So first of all, we'll introduce you all the whole package of our ODDR. As you can see here, this is the ODDR instruments and all these are the standard accessories. Power adapters, and touching pad, and the USB data cable, <coughs> and also two connectors for SC. Here, another two for FC. So if you want SC, just replace it. If you want FC, you can also replace it. So this is the user manual. Okay, this is the certificate, the handbag, and also you can see the cotton here. So this is the general package of our ODDR. After introducing you this whole package, then we will demonstrate how to use our ODDR. So as you can see here, ODDR has nine functions. ODDR, optical laser source, visual for locator, optical power meter, event map, uh, internet of things, and optical fiber detector and uh, OLT and also systems. So we will introduce you one by one. So first of all, we will introduce you about ODDR. So, uh, so for ODDR, we will give you the brief introduction about how to test. So for ODDR, as you can see here, this is one kilometers. This is two kilometers, and also this is for ten kilometers. So how to test it? We have two ways. One is to this test range. One, you can choose auto. So you can say one, two, ten, auto. It will show the result. 13 kilometers, which means 1, 2, 10. So that's all the 13. So you can also have the another way, which means by using man by manual. So right now we have choose the 13, 10. Also, we can choose 15, 50 and some other wavelengths. So for testing range, always choose a double, which means if you are testing about 5 kilometers, please choose 10. Why? Because the OTDR working theory is like the laser come from this OTDR. It will go to this cable. Then it will reflect it back to this OTDR. So you can say the laser has go 5 kilometers, then come back 5 kilometers. So always choose double. So in this case, right now it is 13. So we will choose 40 kilometers. <clears throat> so for so power wells, you can choose about 100 nanoseconds. Because this is for two self, this is a forty-two dynamic range OTDR, so you can choose even fifty. We're just one hundred, just to uh, explain it better. For testing time, as I said, you can choose thirty. You can also choose fifty, fifteen, or you can choose ten. So we choose ten just to demonstrate uh, the resolution. You can choose high or standard refraction. This is depends on your fiber uh, cable. Specification when you purchase the cable, you would always have these functions mentioned in your cable. So you just put all the in fact in all the parameters into this. The launch cable right now we don't have, so that's all we tested it again. So we will choose we will not choose auto, we will choose the real average test. Just press this. So the same result comes. So you can also find the, the testing time is quite shorter right now. So 1, 3, 13, still the same. So uh, this is a brief introduction about how to test OTDR. Then we'll go to the second function about optical laser source. What is optical laser source? Just like this, because sometimes you will choose the optical laser source, uh, the handheld instrument. But for OTDR, it also have this function. <laughs> It, were, it is for emergency use. So if you want it, you just start it. Okay, so if you just want to turn off it, you just shut down. You can also, ch you can also change the wavelength by press this. You can see here, right now it's 1550. 
you can also choose 1625 or 1310 so you can also choose the frequent frequency switch so you can see here this is 270 and also 1k and 2k all errors we will demonstrate about visual for locator you can also use a handheld visual for locator but OTD also has a function for emergency use so how to test this you just press the visual for locator function then right now you can see this is about one kilometers here so we can turn it on so you can you can choose the frequency if you want if you don't want it just choose it you can see in my hand it's a red point here so this is for this is for visual for locate but in some cases you can't see it clearly you can choose the frequency here so you can see it is twinkling all right it's twinkling so when you do not use it press shut down please remember do not look into the laser because it might be harmful for your eyes so let's go to the fourth function it's called the optic power meter the same theory about visual locator i will give you a brief introduction i will now test it here so here we can also choose change the wavelengths right now it's 1550 all right it chooses 1625 1650 850 and 1300 and 1310 and 1490 so this is all we have you can see nearly the same of the handheld optic power meters so it's also for emergency uses so let's go to the most important part about this OTD it's called an event map so what is an event map? event map is like just to tell you what this OTDI is facing in briefly because you can see that the first functions about OTDI it will give you some graphs if you don't have if you don't know the well you can uh, the what these curves means so we will give you a brief section in so all these will be explained clearly in the event map so right now we are testing the map So for the event map, okay. For the event map, you can also you can also just press the out, then everything will be clear. So yeah, yeah, still the same graph. Okay. So you can see here, about one kilometers, there's a connection here. All right, as I just explained, there's another connection about three kilometers. All right. So in this case, your employee or your customers may not need to get educated enough or get trained enough. They will understand, oh, there's a connection, oh, there's a connection, right? So this will be simplified, demonstrate or explain what are those connections in your networks. Uh, in the second videos, we will give you a brief introduction about how to test splitters, but right now we'll move uh, briefly to about these settings so you can see here settings same as the normal testing you want you can see the auto or menu or whatever so the testing wave which means which wavelengths you want to test testing range same nearly same about that one okay part the what about 20 nanoseconds or 15 nanoseconds or whatever and pass fail okay there is one function called splitter Okay, so we will give you a brief introduction. We will give you a detailed introduction in the second videos. So right now we will just pass it out. So all these settings are nearly the same about not normal testing. So this is IoT. Uh, this is IoT. We explained. This is a, this is for customization. So I will not explain this further. So now uh, this is about then we are to the seventh function. It is called optical fiber detector. What is optical fiber detector? So uh, just to, uh, just to explain you, you can see here this is a connector, but you don't know whether it's clean or not. Okay. So uh, we so you have to use the optical fiber detector to de to detect this. This is uh, frankly this is the optional function, optional uh, instrument. So, so you can see when you press it, if you do not have these hardware, 
you cannot use this function. So you can see the notice here, hardware not found. So we will, we will insert this hardware into this audio. Okay, right now you can just press it again. Okay. So, you can see this is like a small camera, but it can't detect uh, whether the connector is clean or not. Okay. So right now it is clean, but in some cases, okay, just give me, just give you an example. I will press it, hold it, or whatever. So you will see the differences. I can say oh, it is not clean. Okay, because I have sweat in my hand. <clears throat> so right now it may affect the testing result about your network. So how to solve these problems? We will use pen cleaner or some other cleaning. You can see tissues or cassettes or others. This is also optional. It is not included in our general packages. So I'm using this just to demonstrate. So you can just press it, insert this. Then when you hear the click, it means the cleaning is done. So we don't need to clean like one or two uh, two or three times. When you hear one time, it means cleaning is done. So we will check it again, okay? You will say, there's no sweat here. Okay, it's clean, it's cleaning better, it's, 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 it's cleaner. Uh, if you think it's not clean enough, you can press it again. And you will find some good results. So, oh, in some cases, you, you if you in, a, in a, like in this, uh, if you just go outside, you will find the bright is not enough. You can choose the bright, or the contrast, or whatever. You will find a way. You can see it's clean enough. So uh, this function um, is just over. We will give uh, several other uh, explanations for other functions. So this is about optical. Uh, OLT, you can see. What is OLT? Which means you are using optical power meter and using optical laser source at the same time. Okay, so because we have explained the very well in the optical power meter and optical laser source, so I will not explain it here. So then we go to the systems. Frankly, systems are just like a, you have several language to choose. You can choose a backlight, highlight, power saving, or some others. So this is quite standard so this is the general in our videos to explain our OTDR I um, hope you like it in the next time uh, in the next video we will give you a brief introduction uh, sorry we'll give you a detailed introduction about how to test the splitters especially because customers are using splitters especially with two layers one two four and the others one two sixteen and we will Give the detailed explanation in the second videos. Hope you like these videos. You can also check the operational poll about our fusion splices in our YouTube channel. You can just check it and search the AccuTech instruments in the YouTube. You will find the videos. Thank you all.